So the nice thing about this Ohio brooder, this style, is that I'm only uh, heating an area that's eight by four by two or 64 square feet versus this entire house. So this is our brooder box. It's also known as an Ohio brooder and it keeps our chicks nice and warm and toasty, uh, saves us on energy costs, gives them a place to hide and stay warm. And I'm gonna show you exactly how we made it. And also, stick around to the end, I'll show you how effective it is, because I've got some temperature, some thermometers, and I'll show you the outside temperature versus the inside temperature of this box. All right, so here is our Ohio Brooder DOI. Uh, so basically I'm just taking um, these eight foot by four foot lengths of one or two inch insulation foam. I'm cutting them in half, so they're two foot by eight foot. Uh, cut some two foot two by fours, two foot long two by fours, and use construction adhesive or Gorilla Glue to glue them to the ends. And that's gonna give them some support so it can stand up. This is gonna be the wall. So we'll have, the whole thing's gonna measure four by eight uh, with the sides being two foot tall. Okay, so you can see we have our box now, um, their insulation cut out um, about 10 inches across the bottom so they could get in and out of the box. Um, put our two by fours in the edge that's glued and screwed. And I had to angle it just because of the shape of my hoop house, this brooder that I have. Um, but you could do straight side. These sides are angled, but you could make them straight and then I'll put a top on it and it'll be a nice little warm box right so that saves me a lot of money on energy a lot of money uh i don't have to use propane i can use electricity which is much cheaper than propane um and very little electricity so i'll show you what it looks like we have our heat lamps wired in i cut a little channel in this insulation foam that holds the wire in so when i pick this up the heat lamp raises with it you can make this any height you want I can also adjust this lamp to make it any height I want. I can make this three or four feet tall if I wanted to, but two feet works pretty well. Um, I can lift it up, you know, put straw in there, check on the birds, do whatever I need to do, drop it back down, and it's good to go. It's not 100% airtight, and that's okay. You know, it's, it needs some airflow, it needs some gas exchange in there, um, but it's going to hold a lot more heat in this box. All these birds can stay warm. I can heat two to 300 birds in here. Um, versus heating this entire uh, hoop house. And you see we've got two of these brooders here. So the nice thing about this Ohio brooder, this style, is that I'm only uh, heating an area that's eight by four by two or 64 square feet versus this entire house. That's our Ohio brooder. Uh, it's gonna save us a lot of money on energy costs. Uh, we can use these electric heat lamps, which I really like, don't have to use propane. And we can heat a lot of birds real easily this way. All right, just wanna show you the effect efficacy the effectiveness of our uh ohio brooder or brooder box whatever you want to call it uh here's our brooder house it's about 59 degrees outside right now 59 60 degrees um i've got a couple thermometers set up in here okay here we are in the brooder house it's about uh 60 degrees outside uh inside the brooder house here we have a thermometer and at duck height which is what i measure it's 68 so the is measuring 68 inside the brooder house, you know, away from the heat lamps, 68 degrees in here. Um, and then what we've got is this brooder box, this Ohio brooder here that we built. I have a thermometer sensor, a digital sensor here in the corner, about a foot high, so it's not at the top. It's about, you know, top of duck height, duck head height. Um, and it's in the corner, so it's away from the heat lamps. It's not under direct heat lamp. It's just in the box in the far corner. We'll show you that here. So there's the sensor. And the sensor readout is on my phone. You can't see it. The sensor readout is on my phone. You can't see it, but it's reading 78.4 degrees. So we've got a 10 degree difference inside the brooder. You know, just ambient temperature here where I am. It's, um, it's 68 and then inside this box, in the corner, away from the lamps is 78. So just by putting these walls up, building this little box, they got 10 degree difference. Um, so, you know, that can dramatically make a big difference, keep these guys warm. That temperature extreme, that temperature differential will, will be even more extreme on a um, colder day. So if we have a colder day, 
Um, it might be 40, 50 degrees here in the brooder house. Um, but if we get 70 degrees in the box, it's even more extreme. This is loosely built. You know, there are gaps in the top. This is not sealed. And that's okay. I did that intentionally because I want some airflow. Uh, but if we sealed it up, it'd be even more. But I want the birds to have plenty of good airflow. But um, all in all, these brooder boxes are doing their job. And they're keeping it nice and warm in there for those guys. You guys want to see something really cool? Check this out. Hey, good morning, guys. How are we doing? Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Okay, so let's see. Outside temperature is 50 degrees. Uh, inside temperature on this thermometer is 60 in the brooder house. So it's 50 outside, 60 in here. And let's check our sensor in the corner. I looked that up on my phone. It is 75. So we've got a 15 degree differential from the temperature inside the brooder house here to what's in the box. And that's in the corner of the box, not under the heat lamps. So just by these birds going under the box, building this box, it's 15 degrees warmer. That's pretty cool. So we can save a lot of energy, a lot of heat, because we don't have to heat this entire room. We'll only heat the box. Quick update on the brooder box. Um, just checked uh, the temperature on my phone is reading 73. Uh, that's the temperature inside the brooder box that I built. Outside temperature right now is 42. Um, so that's a 31 degree difference right now in the brooder box between outside temperatures. So that's pretty cool.